The new chief executive at General Motors apologized today for deaths linked to a delay in issuing a recall. A criminal investigation is now underway into the company's actions. And as Mike Drolet reports, it is a major blow to GM's reputation. There's no sugarcoating it. The world's second largest automaker admits it's screwed up. After all, something went wrong with our process in this instance, and terrible things happened. GM is scrambling to make it right. After an internal safety audit, the automaker has recalled more than 1.5 million SUVs, vans, and Cadillacs for potentially defective side airbags. This following the recall of 1.6 million other cars last month for ignition defects when terrible things happened. 12 deaths, including at least one in Canada. GM says heavy keychains wore down their ignition switches to the point where they just shut off, leading to a loss of power steering brakes and airbags. It is unclear when exactly Transport Canada was first alerted to the problem and what steps were taking to protect Canadians. The NDP are now demanding to know what Transport Canada knew, but more importantly, when. GM has admitted it was aware of the problem as early as 2004 and is now the subject of a congressional investigation in the U.S. Transport Minister Lisa Raitt said the way the system is currently structured, it's up to the automotive companies to report any problems. We were alerted in February, early February of this year of one, we were just alerted. We were alerted around the same time that the U.S. was with respect to the recall. That first recall has proven to be hugely embarrassing for GM. The latest voluntary one, experts say, is to avoid any further embarrassment and loss of consumer confidence. There is precedence for them to consider. In 2009, Toyota recalled more than 9 million vehicles, but it recovered and is once again the number one car maker in the world, just ahead of GM. They may fall back. We may see a Japanese company come ahead of them for the next three months as consumers reassess the choices they have in front of them. We have apologized. GM knows this could happen. By coming clean on all their problems now, they're hoping for smooth driving down the road. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.